Hey guys, so for today's video I'm going to do a DIY Ash Ketchum costume from Pokemon. I literally looked everywhere for one and they only had adult sized um, and even those are really expensive so I figured it might be easier just to do a DIY. Um, so for this DIY I got a long sleeve shirt. Uh, this one comes with a clip on tie but you don't need one. Um, and I got it in extra small, four to five. And then, I mean, I guess you can get a short sleeve one too. You don't really need a long sleeve. And then a collared short sleeve uh, white shirt. And um, I also got this one in extra small, four to five. I just wanted to make sure they fit him like decently well. I guess um, I got a red trucker's hat. Um, you could also get a one that has the white already in the front, or you can just order the Pokemon hat. They have those, but uh, this was going to be cheaper for me. And then I got the white paint to paint this part white, and I just got multi-surface, um, titanium white, and on the back right here, it says it's for fabric, so that's what I did with that and then to paint the little logo thing I or to write the logo I already had this green permanent marker I have yellow duct tape for a uh, part of the DIY for excuse this cup here part of the DIY for this part it has a uh, like yellow trim around it and then a pair of green gloves that are gonna be like trimmed down because he has like um finger gloves? I don't know what they're called. Like they don't have the fabric like this part on there. Um, and then there's one more thing I was going to say. Oh, I was going to tell you where I got. So this I got at Walmart and it was 10 bucks. This I got at Walmart and it was 5 bucks. These I got at Walmart and it also came with a black pair and they were together. They were 150 This I got at Walmart. I think it was like $3. This I got on Amazon for like six bucks, and the paint was two dollars, I think. And then I already had the Sharpie. So I will show you guys what I'm gonna do first. I'm probably gonna paint the hat first so it can uh, dry while I'm doing the rest. So here's how it looks after just one coat of white. Um, doesn't have to be perfect the first time. I just wanted to get a lot of the red out. I might have to do it three times, um, but I'm at least going to do it one more and see how that goes. Um, I think I'm going to, um, while that dries, I'm going to start um, trimming up this and I'll open it and show you guys what it looks like and what I'm going to do. Alright, so what I did was I took off all the buttons except for not the one that was up here at the very top but the next one down and then I flipped it inside out and um, just cut off the sleeves and I even did it with my son's scissors. <laughs> That's how easy it was. Um, and that's pretty much all I've done so far, so I will show you guys whatever I do next. Alright, so next I did the white shirt that goes under the blue one. Um, I had like all these pieces, if you remember, and I literally just cut like along where the buttons were and just opened it up because the white part does not show, um, in Ash's costume. So... That's what I did, and you can even like hot glue this part to the inside of the blue part so it like doesn't like flap around, I guess. But I just cut it really close to the 
inseam so it's not gonna show really anything um, and then I'll go ahead and stick it oops I'll go ahead and stick it under so you can see what that part looks like. all right so basically this is what it will look like I actually I left the blue collar under um, because it's a lot more uh, thick I guess than the white part is so it would just the white part would have an easier time like staying stood up <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like with the sleeves uh, through the blue part and then under this since I mean if he just wore it like this it would be his skin he's gonna wear a black t-shirt because that's what Ash has under I think his is like a dark green but black will work just fine and so now I'm gonna start putting um, some of the yellow uh, tape on to show you guys what that will look like and um, the hat is still uh, wet <laughs> or else I would be adding another coat so I will show you guys uh, what I'm going to do with the yellow tape alright so now I've put duct tape up here for the buttons the pockets I just cut little strips and then the like trim I guess um, it's not my favorite but I guess another way you could do it would be to like tape it off and paint it yellow that would probably hi <laughs> that would probably work um, better it probably look better but um, I know he's gonna love it so I guess that's all that really matters. <laughs> um, now I'm going to work on the gloves, the paint. Um, could probably go for another coat now, so I might do that first. Um, and then I will show you guys what another coat on that looks like. Alright, so I did the gloves, trimmed off the fingers, and then I also added yellow to the um, bottom of it. His are actually see if I can find a picture his are actually just like light green but um, I have yellow already so I'm just gonna go with that you can see here his are just light green but I have yellow already and he'll be totally fine and cool with that <laughs> he's gonna love this already I can tell and then for the hat I did another coat I think I'm gonna do one more just so it's like so super white um, but that's pretty much it I'm gonna do one more coat of the white and then I'm gonna use when that's all dry use the green sharpie and do the uh, C that is on his or I don't know if it's a C but whatever shape that is on um, his hat and I will probably show you guys after that's done but that probably won't be done until later because this paint is taking forever to dry <laughs> so this is what it looks like at this moment in time I will also show you guys what it looks like on him but he's at school right now so when he gets home I'm gonna move these over there so you guys can get one little final look like I said the duct tape I mean it looks fine you're not even gonna be able to tell like at night or anything um, but I think spray painting it probably would have done a better job and you could have even spray painted the hat alright so now it's the next day and apparently my sharpie friend right here is running out so this is what I got for the logo I kind of want to uh, get another sharpie to finish coloring that in some people might think I'm crazy but it just looks unfinished <laughs> to me so this is what it looks like. I am currently working on ooh, touched it. a Pokeball. Pokeball! Go! <laughs> I got a camera! Where'd the camera go? I think it's inside the Pokeball. Uh -huh. 